All right, how's it going everybody? On my last video, Gamble Fabrication said this, body construction has nothing to do with how a solid body electric guitar sounds. In my experience it does, so he said, absolutely does in my experience, man. He says, experience cannot dispute physics and the human anatomy. Okay, I don't know what human anatomy has to do with guitar tone or anything, but I'll tell you this, I've spent like the last year of my life testing this exact theory, chasing guitar tone, and the body absolutely makes a difference. This is Plankston. I made it a long time ago. I never made a video about it because I didn't think I needed to, but this is a test piece of wood that I like to take everything from a guitar and mount it onto this and see how much the sound changes. So like using the same bridge, same string, same everything, just only changing the body wood, the sound changes. So here's my jag. What we're gonna do is, I'm gonna take this exact same neck off the body, we're gonna leave the strings on, everything, and we're just gonna transport it to this body here. We're gonna match the pickup height, the electronics, the strings, literally everything is gonna be the exact same except just the body. Another problem I have with a lot of these guitar tests that people do is they put brand new strings on their guitar and then they go test. And if you look on a oscilloscope or anything like that, you're gonna see brand new strings are just loaded with a fuck ton of harmonics. Like you have the fundamental note and then all on top of that is just a bunch of metallic shit. You can't hear the guitar tone that way. All the harmonics of those new strings are masking out the actual tone of the guitar. Of course they're all gonna sound similar like that. So these are broken in strings. I just wanna hear the fundamental, down where the guitar is, down here. I don't wanna hear all this harmonic stuff. I'm gonna take all this off, we're gonna mount it on here, and then we're gonna put it back on here and test it out. I'm sorry to ramble. Okay, all right. Okay, we're gonna get the action set right. Okay, so I'm going for about 1.75 on the 12th fret. I'm just making a note of that, so when we set up the jag later, we're gonna get the action the exact same. Scale length. We're exactly at 24 inches on the scale length. See? So the scale length is the same too. Otherwise it wouldn't intonate properly anyway. Okay, and to make sure that we get the pickup the same exact height on the bridge, we're looking at 1.5 inches. So the middle of the pickup needs to be 1.5 inches right there in order to be picking up on the same part of the strings. So let's do that. Okay, we're gonna have to unsolder the vintage DiMarzio just to get it off. So we'll unsolder it from the pot and then we'll get it out and we'll solder it right back to the same exact pot. We're gonna leave the electronics the same. We're gonna hook it up to the same pots, same everything. And I'm not using the rhythm circuit in here or any of this other stuff. It's literally just the DiMarzio going straight to the pot. So right here is the same exact distance from the pickup to the bridge for the DiMarzio. So let's go ahead and mount that. Okay, so we have the pickup sitting exactly, we're looking at exactly 664 on the low string and about 464 on the high string. We're wired up. We've successfully taken everything off the Jag. Everything is literally the same, all the same hardware. We got the action set the same. We got the pickup exactly where we want it on the height. It's the same distance from the bridge. Got the same controls here. Everything's the same. So let's go up in the studio and record some stuff with it. Okay, so here's my quad reverb. The mic is already set up. I just mic'd it up. I'm not gonna move anything at all. I'm not gonna change it throughout any of this test. It's gonna stay right there. The settings on the amp are gonna stay the same too. So I'm gonna go ahead and record the plank guitar now. And then I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna reset up the Jag. I'm gonna match the pickup height. I'm gonna get the action the same height all that good stuff. So the next clips that you see now are just gonna be them being, you know, compared.
So what'd you guys think? Did you hear a difference? Did they sound the same to you? Uh, for me, I, I heard a very big difference. Like I already knew I would, I've done this test many times before. And like I said in the beginning, everything was the same. The only difference was the body, that's all I did. I just switched the body. The electronics were the same, the pickup was the same, the strings were never changed, same strings, same pots, same action height same pickup placement height i mean everything so i think at this point yeah like i mean i feel good enough making that putting that out there it's up to the listener how much of a difference they hear for me i hear a big difference if you don't hear a big difference that's okay that's cool but to debate the fact that changing the body doesn't change the tone at all is completely false it does i just proved it it changes the sound and for me, it's not even like about s different species of wood, what I found. It's been more about like just no two pieces of wood are the same. I think of wood as like people, you know, they don't even like two cuts of alder are going to weigh totally different weights. Like if you go on Sweetwater's gallery, you can see the guitars that you picked to buy and they're all made out of the same wood, but they weigh different weights. And I think the density of that wood affects the sound in some type of way. That said, I was actually really surprised how similar the plank guitar sounded to the jack it sounded similar i think i've had two guitars of the same body and everything that sounded further apart than that so that's really really interesting actually i had this one mg65 mustang that just would not sound right no matter what i did to it And switching the bridge on it did nothing. That's why in a lot of my videos, like I'll have different bridges on different stuff and still compare them because I don't hear a difference when switching the bridge at all, actually. If so, like it's so minute, you wouldn't be able to hear it. I hear a way bigger difference changing the bodies and that's why I talk about it so much. <laughs> I'm not just like telling you this because like I, I want to be right or something like I would rather be wrong because then I'm learning something but just in my experience I've had like 13 Mustangs and I've gone through all of them and they all sounded different and I put each neck on different bodies and I put like this bridge on this and these strings on that I did everything like I literally spent a whole year doing just that. So I think I'm just gonna leave it there. I wanted to put this, I know this video is not fun. I know you're probably expecting like a tone video or something, but I talk about this in a lot of my videos about how the body affects the sound. And I know I'm gonna get more comments like the one I got in the beginning of this video. And I want this here so I can just put it out there and I feel okay with that. So at this point, like if you don't hear a difference and you don't think bot, like wood tone or any of that exists, cool. If you heard a difference, cool. You understand what I'm hearing. All right, guys, I have some really cool videos planned for the future. I can't wait to tell you what it is, but I just can't yet, but you'll see soon. Okay, all right, I'll stop rambling now. As always, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.